Hello everybody, I'm back here with a little bit of a garage update, kind of a wood stove management video also. One of the things that I have basically just this old 55 gallon drum kit that I made myself. It's not the greatest, but it does work pretty good. One of the bad things about these is that metal gets upwards of like eight, 900 degrees. So if you have small children or clumsy drunk friends, I highly recommend not going with this type of stove. Go ahead and spend the money, get a good stove that has an outer casing or even build one for this. A guy could build something pretty easily out of some cheap you know, tube steel and then some chicken wire or even some hog paneling, a lot of different things a guy could do. I went ahead and I actually have this little piece of galvanized sitting on top of my stove that a lot of times I'll, um, when I have hot tea, I actually set it up on top of there and keep it warm. It's not that big a deal for me. I also have a um, painter's pan right over there, which I haven't been using yet this winter. The garage tends to get pretty dry with a wood stove in it, so a lot of times what I'll do is I'll set that pan on there. I've bent the leg so it sets flat on it, fill it full of water, and let it just kind of humidify the garage. Works pretty decent, but it's not that big a deal. I've been running this, also trying to catch a little more heat back out of it. I have a little fan I'll put down here on the floor sometimes, facing that way. I'm thinking about building a whole second cage for this out of another barrel drum just to kind of, I don't know, keep the heat from just escaping straight up so fast. But back to what I'm more talking about here is I went ahead and brought in another load of wood. This is just a, um, about a third of what I'll bring in, but it's pretty cold today and it's supposed to warm up by Saturday. So I'll let the um, ground unfreeze. The only reason I brought this in is I actually ran out in here, so I had to kind of jump start myself. I keep a small pile, as you can see, close to the stove of my real small stuff. A lot of times I'll have like these big pieces of bark will break off and they are wonderful, wonderful uh, fire starters. So I'll use those to kind of start the fire. I'll run a couple small logs across the wood barrel. Instead of all the wood goes in lengthwise here, I'll run a couple across the short ways to create a little wind tunnel underneath to kind of get a little better fire going. Then I move into my bigger logs all the way on over to my big logs by the door. Make sure whatever log you put next to your door, if you have one like I have, it has a knot or something sticking out to that side to keep it from rolling. Because you'd hate to come into your garage, find out you can't get in your garage because your wood pile rolled over into it. I've been kicking the idea around about building a um, two by four wood holding frame here. Haven't done it yet, but the day I come in and the doors pin shut and of course, all my garage doors are paddle locked shut from the inside too. So I will be unable to get in this garage unless I take out a window. So definitely something that when it happens, I'll be kicking myself, but so far it hasn't happened yet. The one thing I also noticed is I have this little bin here I use for when I go um, dirt bike riding, if I'm gonna spend the night somewhere and ride the next day both. I throw my wood in, it keeps the um, van clean or the back of my truck clean, works good. But I actually hauled my wood in today with a wheel, wheel barrel. Normally, I'll just load it up in the back of my truck, which is sitting right out there, and then I'll back up to the door or even open the door back in and unload it. But I didn't feel like, because as you can see, this place is way too cluttered. No way I'm going to get a truck in here and it's not worth letting the heat out for this. My wheelbarrow actually fits through my doorway. So just barely, if you have a wheelbarrow, measure it or even just with it empty, see if it'll fit through your doorway. I thought about just leaving the wood actually in the barrel and just feed my stove out of it, make for a lot easier cleanup. As you notice, there's a lot of dirt in there, stuff froze to the wood. But I can take that back out, and I'll have a big pile on the ground here again. But I needed more than one, one wheelbarrow will handle at a time to let it thaw good. I really like my wood not to have any extra, you know, snow on it and that. It just seems like a waste of fuel to melt snow. So basically, you know, that's pretty much the thing. Keep your big wood away. Also, all this wood, if you notice, is real good, solid stuff. This is a load I bought from a guy, and it's all fresh cut. It just cut it like uh, it would be a year now, but he just cut it down. So I got it pretty cheap because it wasn't seasoned, but it's not that you know weaker rotten stuff that I usually use. So I make a small pile of that. I'll put more of the pile of the rotten stuff in the middle, which I'll pick up Saturday from the shed and bring it up here. And then I got my small starter stuff. So pretty much that's what I've got at the moment. Not a lot going on there, but kind of give you an idea of what I'm doing. So if you have a wheelbarrow that fits the door, man, I just found that today and I am super excited about the saving and labor at that. So my wood's kept probably 200 yards from my garage. That way I don't have to worry about it too much, but 
200 yards of wheelbarrow was nothing. It wasn't worth dragging the truck through the yard for that. So anyway, hope you guys found this a slight bit helpful. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day, and feel free to comment at the bottom, rate, and subscribe.